Today, I want to introduce you to forage and soil building superhero. I'm speaking about sun hemp. It's a tropical plant primarily grown as a cover crop or green manure. It has increased dramatically in popularity over the last decade. Originally from India, it's easy to understand what makes it so popular among vegetable farmers in Kenya. Sun hemp possesses many soil building traits, including high rates of biomass production. It's used as a cover crop. Sun hemp can improve soil properties, reduce soil erosion, conserve soil water, and recycle plant nutrients. But sun hemp isn't just a soil builder. It also offers benefits as forage producer. There's no weeding. You don't need to put fertilizer. You don't need to spray anything. It just grows on its own. Our farmer, as well as our expert, has a lot to teach us about sun hemp today. Just love this crop. It has 16% protein. And a lot of uh, farmers today actually grow it and bale it. Welcome to yet another episode of Kilimo na Biashara, a show that brings you different types of farming methods and all emerging trends in the agribusiness world. Well, fertilizer prices have really gone up and also there's shortage of this commodity. Well, at this time, farmers' main concern is soil fertility and how they will get good yield. So today, we want to focus on a plant that can make your soil fertile. I'm speaking about sun hemp. All farmers are concerned about getting good yield. You want to know more about this plant? Join me in the farm. Jen! Hi, Linda. How are you? Very well. How are you? <laughs> Good to see you. Welcome, welcome to Wanska Farm. Wow, thank you so much. On my way here, I was just wondering, what is sun hemp? All your questions on sun hemp are answered for as long as you're on this farm. Now, what is sun hemp? Sun hemp is a leguminous plant. It's a cover crop. Jen, when you say cover crop, what is that? I still want to understand. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Uh-huh. Some few seasons back, I had grown onions continuously on this farm and I realized that I needed to give something back to the soil. I could see my last crop of onion was struggling, despite the manure, despite the fertilizer. And so I ventured out and did some research on how can I rejuvenate my soil. And in the course of that, I came across scientific papers that had been written on different experiments of different crops for that farmers can use and one of those crops was sun hemp and I was like yes that's what I've been looking for and this is it the sun hemp you see here is a week old this thing grows so fast from seeding to germination is three days so planting sun hemp is specifically for soil fertility for us here we do continuous cropping of onions and other vegetable crops so Sun hemp was to help us manage our soil fertility. So we grew it and we are still growing it as a cover crop. So what happens once it's mature, and I'll show you that later, we plow it back to the soil. It is a very vegetative crop. It covers the entire soil. And so this being our furrow season, it protects our soil from sun and from being washed away by rain. Oh. Oh, so that's why it's called a cover crop. But now, how do you start planting it? Sun hemp is very easy to plant. Number one, you don't need fertilizer to plant it or special seed dressers. Just take the seed, it's a fairly small seed, and all you do is make trenches 
small trenches and drill the seed continuously. Remember you want to achieve significant biomass, so drill as close as possible. After drilling, what's the next step? You put fertilizer, because here I see you've installed drip irrigation. What do you do next? Once you drill and put your water and it grows, that's all. There's nothing else because as it grows and grows higher, it soothes away all the weeds. So there's no weeds. You don't need to put fertilizer. You don't need to spray anything. It just grows on its own. So this is one week old and they really look so good. This is a week old mm -hmm. right there. We have another crop. Ah, that let's is. see. This is the second. Yes, this is the second week, uh, two weeks old crop, mm -hmm. sun hemp. And uh, you can see it's still also coming up pretty fast. Uh -huh. And um, the same principle, look at it, clean. No weeds. No fertilizer. No fertilizer, at all. no chemical, mm -hmm. nothing. Just wow. on its own. So no fertilizer at all? Nothing. Mm -hmm. All the, uh, the entire cost is just the seed, which comes complete with the inoculum and the labor to drill. Jen, you're so knowledgeable and you, you speak quite passionately about this. How did you stumble into agriculture? How did you begin? I was brought up on a farm and my own father encouraged me to remain in farming. I studied agriculture in primary school, in high school, up to the university. And now professionally, I work in the agriculture space. But how did you start farming? Sometime last year, I decided to go commercial. And so, started off with a crop for onions. After three consecutive seasons of growing onions, I realized the third crop was not as beautiful, you know, size-wise, growth vigor, as the first two crops. And then I remembered something called soil fertility. And therefore, I went out to start looking for solutions. Because I was already manuring, I was already using fertilizer, but still my crop was already telling me this is not enough. So I went out and researched, and I came across the whole story around cover crops. But the challenge was one. I didn't know where to get the seeds. It's until I met an agronomist from U Farm who told me, we also sell cover crops. And I told her, please give me a link. I need them like now. So it is through your farm that I got introduced to mm -hmm. Sunhem. Jen, sincerely speaking, I've never heard about cover crops. What are these cover crops? Also for farmers who've never heard about this particular thing and their importance, what is cover crop? Cover crops are very simple crops that aid a farmer in very many ways. They may not have a direct economic, you know, the way that you are harvesting a crop to take to a market. Yeah. But what they do enhances that marketing later for the subsequent crops that you grow. So basically what cover crops do, number one, protect the soil. The soil is a resource that farmers need to pay attention to. Where are they called cover crops? They grow very fast and sooner than later they cover the entire soil. Subsequently also cover crops like sun hemp are leguminous. So guess what? Like just like you have been told of beans, leguminous crops fix atmospheric nitrogen into the soil. So in my subsequent crops, I'm looking at using less fertilizer. Mm -hmm. And in this season of high cost of fertilizer, I mean this is a grand saving. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, this is a crop. Yeah. So guess what? The biomass, right, mm -hmm. added into the soil. So my, my water retention, you can see we use drip irrigation. You want water to be retained on the bed. Yeah. Jen, speaking of fertilizer, if you compare the cost of acquiring fertilizer as opposed to Sunhem, how would you rate it? When we started uh, farming here, yeah. like two years ago, a bag of CAN was somewhere in the tune of 2,300. And um, when we have the, when we need to use on the whole farm would use four bags. Today, the same bag of fertilizer is in excess of 5,000 shillings. The price has more than doubled. Yet, farm produce prices in the market have not doubled. They've more or less remained the same. So how can I, as a farmer, remain profitable? I've got to find a way of reducing the costs of enhancing my soil fertility. 
sun hemp is very reasonably priced because for this, uh, a kilogram is just about 638 around there. Yeah. And uh, you can drill a significant portion. And the nitrogen that I get fixed into this soil, yeah. the biomass is, you can't compare. Yeah. I have much more benefit using sun hemp than fertilizer. And how much did it cost you to acquire sun hemp seedlings or seeds? Actually, Linda, let me tell you something. Sun hemp is so cheap. As you can see around my farm, you've seen manure there. That manure, a 20 ton truck, gets here with 40,000. Yet, sun hemp, for one acre, I only need about 10,000 for the seed and inoculum included. Now, if you compare by the time you're planting your crops without sun hemp and this moment when you have sun hemp, how is it? How is your production? Has it improved? I probably would have closed, uh, stopped farming because the cost of fertilizer is not just attainable. I mean, where do you get double the price for your onions, double the price for capsicum? Yeah. Nowhere. And so this is farming as a business. Jen, so how long will you have this sun hemp in your farm before you harvest or before you incorporate it in the soil? Once you seed sun hemp, it is ready for harvesting and incorporation into the soil within two months. Now, after you've incorporated sun hemp into the soil, how soon will you plant the next crop? Once uh, we incorporate the sun hemp into the soil, remember we cut it into small bits so we're able to plow it back into the soil. We're able to plant it within 10 days. And this is one of the other greatest benefits for sun hemp. Jen, now after embracing sun hemp, would you say you've gotten good yields in your farm or is it a profitable venture? Extremely, extremely profitable because we've seen it in the harvest of our subsequent crops. Right now, I'm eager to plant my next crop of onion. And as you can see, we have the nursery already ready on the farm because I know the yields after this hand hemp would be great. Now, Jane, I would like to see the other side of the farm. Uh, Linda, we have an expert on sun hemp on the farm. He will give you the technical details of the crop and a lot more information. In the meantime, I'll go and supervise the cutting of the sun hemp. That is going on. We shall meet on that side of the farm. Well, picture this, at a time when fertilizer prices have really skyrocketed, I think sun hemp is the way to go. This is how it looks. These are sun hemp seeds. You just drill it to the soil and voila, you're ready. Your soil will be fertile in the next two months. After 10 days, in two months, you put your crop. So today we have an expert, Homri, from Eufam, who's going to take us through all the nitty gritties that you need to know about this particular sun hemp. So let's go meet Homri. Homri, hey, hello. Good to see you. <laughs> Good to see you. See, there's a beautiful plant there. How is it doing? Yes, this this uh, crop is about uh, seven weeks old, and uh, we're looking at the flowering to determine when we're going to chop it up. Usually, we recommend farmers uh, to chop up the crop when they have 30% flowering. Jen explained to me earlier on what sun hemp really is, but from an expert point of view, what is sun hemp? Okay, sun hemp is quite an amazing plant. Uh, as Jane explained, the benefits for the farmer, but there are a lot more on the list. When you incorporate sun hemp to the soil, you're also gaining some other attributes which are extremely important for farmers. So what are those attributes? For example, sun hemp knows how to depress nematodes, at least for a long duration. Sun hemp solves the problem of fusarium, 
And when you think about farmers who want to specialize and want to do monoculture, sun hemp as a crop gives them that opportunity. So a farmer who wants to specialize, for example, in watermelon, can do sun hemp in the rotation and do continuously watermelon without having an issue of fusarium. Ah, so it can actually be a rotational crop. As well, yes. Mm. Apart from that, what Jane mentioned is the four and a half to five tons of green manure per acre, which is giving the soil that fertility. It also knows how to awaken the biology in the soil. So we start to have activity in the soil. The soil starts to mend itself. And that's why Jane mentioned the beauty of the second crop after sun hemp, why it looks so vigorous and so nice. So this is seven weeks old. How far is it before you harvest? This is about a week to harvest because we already see the first flowering. We will count about seven to eight days. And then if we get around 30% flowering in the field, we will just chop it off. So aside from here, do we have a place or a section where we can harvest or ready for harvest? Yes, let me take you to the other field and we can observe it. Oh, ah, we go see. Okay. The farm is really clean only. Yes, very clean. Mm, it is super clean. So this side has been harvested already. Yes, this side mm. is ready for incorporation into the soil, mm -hmm. as you can see. What are the benefits, aside from soil fertility, what are the main benefits of sun hemp? Sun hemp basically is that kind of crop which gives you a wide range of solutions. Sun hemp is a very strong plant, very big, and has a huge mass. Very interesting, this is a fodder crop also. Uh, goats, sheep, just love this crop. It has 16% protein. And a lot of uh, farmers today actually grow it and bale it. Uh, so it's also one of the attributes that you can use sun hemp to earn some money. So not every season you actually have to incorporate into the soil. Uh, you can do that one season and then the second season you can still use the inoculation and nitrogen but you can chop it up and bale it and sell bales. Speaking of fodder, what are the varieties available, especially for feeding cattle, livestock, and also all other animals? There are varieties in the market, which you mentioned, which are not suitable for animal. Sun hemp crotellaria, what we bring, is very suitable for animals to feed on. So I stress farmers to be very careful about what they buy. They need to buy the sun hemp crotellaria from you farm because this one you can really feed the animals. So between the varieties, how do you note the difference and how can a farmer identify the good variety? Usually it's supposed to be mentioned the type on the packing. Also the crotellaria which is not for animal feed is a much shorter plant, less biomass. And uh, basically, we, we recommend to do the thorough check before you buy the seeds. Omri, just looking at the one you're holding, it right there. I can't see any pest or diseases. Is it susceptible to pest and diseases? No, actually, uh, sun hemp does not require any further investment from the farmer side, apart from the seed buying and the inoculant. After that, we need two or three irrigations, and this is what we get. So you actually just need money for seeds alone? Exactly. But what are the benefits? The green manure that we incorporate into the soil basically uh, also uh, has benefit the same as compost. So it improves the structure of the soil. It helps to uh, bring back the biology. The biology starts to work for you. And you know, biology is extremely important in the soil. I heard you say that you farm, you do a lot of things in regards to agriculture, but how did you land into uh, specifically sun hemp? I think that uh, we started to understand that farmers have a real serious problem of soil fertility. We've been talking about that for the last uh, decade, that soils in Kenya are being depleted, over-fertilized, uh, soil fertility is going down. 
And many farmers came up to us and said, look, we need a solution. We need somehow to, to, to break the cycle. And that's where we came up with Sandham as a relatively cheap and a fast, quick solution that brings with it many, many, many benefits. So you actually don't need fertilizer? I don't say we don't need fertilizer, but definitely one of the targets of bringing in Sunham is to reduce the cost of fertilizer. Yeah, Sunham cannot bring all the nutrients to the plant. So it's one of the solutions we're working on others. Omri, thank you so much. That has been You're quite insightful. Let me meet Jen on the other side who is harvesting. Okay, see you. Bye-bye. I'm Linda. back again. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So yes. harvesting is ongoing. Harvesting is ongoing. Mm -hmm. So let me first demonstrate, then I'll give you a slasher. Okay. You slash it by stage uh -huh. so that you're cutting smaller pieces ah. all the way down. Yes. All the way down, starting from the from top. Up. The top, mm -hmm. halfway through, mm -hmm. all the way down. So you break it down so that aids in it's uh, breaking down. Yes. Here is your slasher. You can begin on this side. There's nothing like a visitor on the first day, Jen. No, 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 no. No <laughs> visitors on the farm. Mm -hmm. okay, Only let, workers. Let so let from, the top, from the yes, top, yes, start from the top. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then the middle. Then the then middle. Mm -hmm. Then all the way down. Mm -hmm. All the way down. So you harvest it in four stages. Yeah, four stages, bit by bit, slowly. Yeah. From the top, mm -hmm. halfway through, another bit. And don't worry, for as long as it's broken, it shall disintegrate. Yeah. That way. Oh, you're doing it so well. I've understood the assignment. Yes, <laughs> you've understood the assignment. I can see you cannot sleep hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I you cannot. Can. Yes, that's how you cut it. And then now, once you're done, yeah. we incorporate it into the soil. Yeah. And it's preferably that we incorporate it into the soil immediately. Ah. Maybe we can now demonstrate the soil incorporation. Okay. Now, so we move to let's incorporating. Let's move to the other side. Okay. Bring your slasher along and incorporate. Let's keep our pangas and uh, slashers. Ah, because your slasher image. I'll show you them. how to incorporate it. Okay. So you incorporate immediately. You incorporate immediately so that you lock in the moisture. Remember, this is a green manuring okay. concept. Mm -hmm. So um, let me demonstrate with my djembe. Yeah. Uh, the djembe is the best mm -hmm. because then you are able to... The fork? Yes. You, you the fork use the djembe. Ah. You need to lift the soil uh -huh. and cover this ah, mat. the upper bit. Yes. Ah, okay. There is your djembe. Let me, let me try that. So it's this? Yeah. In, dig yeah. it in, mm -hmm. pull in the soil, cover the top. Cover the sun hemp. Mm -hmm. Mine has a lot of sun here. Yes, you cover it like that. Yes. Oh, the soil is quite soft already. Yes, because the sun hemp has a tap root mm -hmm. and that goes deep in, mm -hmm. loosens the soil, yeah. fixes the nitrogen, mm -hmm. and uh, makes your soil very good. And it is very easy. Yes, just like this. This is a way to also prepare the land for planting. Yeah. So by the time we plant in 10 days, yeah. this will be all well decomposed. Then, I mean, the benefits are many. Yeah, the benefits are so many. By now, I'm so sure you have been enlightened by Jen. Picture this. With an acre, you will need close to roughly 40,000 when you're using fertilizer. But as compared to Sunham, 
you will need 10,000 shillings per acre. That's a whooping 30,000 shillings difference you can save or you can invest in another crop. Well, I think today I've given you a solution to the high cost of fertilizer or the shortage of fertilizer. You might as well try this sun help. So, thank you so much for being part of the show and next time we'll bring you another exciting show. See you on Friday, same time.